All right, folks, here we have is GIMP. When you want to find out what kind of software you have, you go into the help. You look for the about menu. Open that up and it will always tell you the name of the software, the version of the software. And here you'll find other information, credits, license, close up, close. And then of course, other information here, such as check for update. We're not going to check for update right now. It looks like it was just updated recently automatically, which is just fine. GIMP has a GNU image manipulation program license. And it's free software, free to use. You can distribute it and or modify it under the terms of the GNU uh, general public license as published by the Free Software Foundation. They have so many wonderful programs and at least there's somebody you can trust. They're not going to be owned by any other country or anybody that's going to spy on you or anything like that. They run easily in Linux systems in uh, usually on a Mac and also on Windows systems. So this is GIMP. Let's take a look at it. All right. Now, also in the help, you're going to have context help. You're going to have tip of the day. You're going to have search and run a command. Plug-in browser. Procedure browser. Bug reports and feature requests. GIMP Online is going to have several different options here. All right, and then a user manual is going to have several options. I want to go through the user manual one step at a time because I don't think there are any pro any uh, training programs out there like that. Usually somebody will just pick training and then they'll just do a little bit of something. I want to do the actual training of the software and you can learn with me. Nobody knows everything about every piece of software. All right. So that's what we're going to do here. Now, for now, what I want to do, the first thing I want to do is show you what's in the menu. Okay. Uh, new, create, open. Now, usually on any piece of software, no matter what you're running, this is pretty much a standard menu that's been about the same for decades since the beginning of computing uh, personal computers at least file edit select view image layer and at the end usually it's like windows and help usually it's similar type menus are in this order on other many different pieces of software and even in the file menu usually they're about the same going all the way down You'll have all these different open and new and create type of options, save type of options, some export and t create a template option there, uh, print page, copy image for location, copy image location, show and file manager, and then of course we'll have the close menus down here. They might be mixed a little, but usually this is similar order of things in just about any software package. Same goes for edit. Usually the first one will always be an undo and then a redo and then a history, cut, copy, and these kinds of similar items. And then extra items down here that relate to the software. And then at the bottom in edit, you most of the time you're going to find configuration settings and so forth that's usually called preferences input devices keyboard shortcut modules and we'll look at those and right now let's look at these other options all none invert so forth and so these will be you know similar just like Photoshop you're gonna have file edit select view image or file edit image or whatever it's all going to be similar 
right here. Okay. Select. So we're going to have all, none, invert, what different types of selections, how what to do with those selections, how they're created in here. Okay, and then view, different types of view here, and how it's being viewed on the screen, whether there's a grid, no grid, what the grid is, and so forth, scroll bars, image, what to do with the image, how to, ch how to show the image, change the canvas, the print size, the scale the image, crop the image, Okay, merge the layers, image properties, metadata, metadata is going to be data that's connected to the image, a lot of times for keyword and uh, SEO, which would be uh, what you need to help the people on the internet find your image, um, we'll go over that later, and then layer, different types of layers. Right, and then what to do with the layers, how the layers are laid out, what, how you're going to manipulate them. We're going to have to go through all of these one by one in all the different training modules to find out more about what we can do with all of this. Colors, oh boy. Lots of effects, lots of colors and different things you can do. And what to do with the colors. <laughs> I mean, there's hundreds of options. There's no way to know everything. And that's what makes it more fun. Tools. Wow. Lots and lots of tools. Wow. Look at all these tools. I mean, you could take one image and make like hundreds of images from one image by manipulating everything with all these tools and options and stuff. Toolboxes, default colors, swap colors, okay. filters, oh my, look at all these filters. Every time you see an arrow, you're gonna have another menu. Every time you see these three little dots, that'll bring up another menu. Right now I don't have anything in those menus. Let me find some like this one. Nope, not yep. Nope, here we go. See these three dots? So that'll bring up another another box where you have to put information in it. And you can always hit cancel, never be afraid to look around. You're not going to hurt anything if you choose it as long as it has those dots. Now, when it has something like this, I go ahead and choose it. That's the way you learn. So I go in here, I'll open it, and I'll go see what it is. So this is a console. I I understand that. So if you have a Python, if you work with Python, which is a programming language, then you know you might want to do this, work with this console. But I'm not doing that right now, and I'm not studying it right now, so I can't explain anything about it at the moment. But it is a programming language. I'd like to learn more about how Python is. Working with GIMP, um, that'd be cool. All right, whoops, cancel, cancel, close, there we go. All right, and then window, different types of windows, right? Look at this, dockable dialogues. All this stuff, wow, pointer, right? That's over here. Oh man, so much stuff in here. And then, of course, tool options. Just a lot. So many things. So, that's the beginning of getting a browse through GIMP. We will go over more in the next video.